Hi everyone. So learning from our previous lecture, we have seen discrete random variables, where a discrete random variable x represents the values assigned in an experiment or survey. Suppose we have x1, x2, up to xn, which represents the possible values in an experiment. Capital X is the random variable and it can take x1, x2 till xn. For each x1, x2 till xn, there is a probability p. So we for x1, we have what? A probability p, which is assigned. For x2, we have p of 2. And then for xn, we have p of n. We've seen that we can draw a probability distribution table that gives the probability for each value. We've seen that the probability distribution table is the table that gives the probability for each value. So as you can see, x1 is assigned a probability of p1, x2 is assigned a probability of p2, xn is assigned a probability of pn. And if we add all the probabilities, it should be equal to 1. So a random variable x is well defined if the summation of all the probabilities is equal to 1. We are now going to look at two examples based on discrete random variables. Let's look at this question. The probability density function, PDF, of a discrete random variable y is given by P of y is equal to y is equal to 3y squared for y is valid for values 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Given that c is a constant, find the value of c. The PDF of x, it is a function of x, in this case y, assigning the probability for each value of y. So here we have the PDF probability of y is equal to y c y square. So it is the function that is responsible for allocating probabilities is known as the PDF. Okay, so the PDF can either list the probability individually or summarize them in a formula. So this function is valid for values 0 to 4. So before we can find the value of C, the first thing is we draw the table. Since we are looking at what? Discrete random variable. We have the random variable y, and y can take values 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. For each value of y, we are going to find the probability of y is equal to y. We are going to replace each value in this function. So we are going to find what? probability of y is equal to 0. So c times 0 squared is going to be 0. Probability of y is equal to 1. We're going to have c times 1 to the square, which is c. We have probability of y is equal to 2. c times 2 to the square, we're going to have 4c. And it goes till 4. So here we have what? We have 0. Here we have c. Here we have 4c. And then 3 square, we're going to have 16. Now, let's see if this random variable y is well defined. Now, we know that summation of all values of y, probability of y is equal to y is equal to 1. So, if we add all these probabilities, we should get 1. We are now going to find the value of c. Now, so it means that 0 plus c plus 4c plus 9c plus 16c is equal to 1. So they are all like terms, so we can add them. We're going to have 30c is equal to 1. c is equal to 1 over 30. So there we have it, the value of c. So which means that 0, 1 over 30, 4 over 30, 9 over 30, and then we have 16 over 30. 